The Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We're talking about patchy fog, dense fog in some spots, which has prompted the National Weather Service office in Indianapolis and over in Lincoln, Illinois, to put out a dense fog advisory for both our Indiana and Illinois counties. This will be in effect through 10 9 Central for all of our locations along and north of I-70. But just because some of our counties are not included in the advisory across southern portions of the valley doesn't mean they are not experiencing some of this dense fog as well. In fact, visibility down in Olney is just at a half a mile. It's at a quarter of a mile in Flora, up through Effingham and in Mattoon, just over a mile here in Terre Haute, about a half a mile up in Paris. So just goes to show you that you need to be careful out on the roadways this morning. Certainly allow some extra time to get to your destination. This area of dense fog will continue with us at least through sunrise today, which is going to be just uh, after that seven o'clock hour. So keep that in mind. We're going to have that fog around during the first part of the day. It is going to be a cloudy start to the day as we start to get that fog to lift. It's pretty cloudy out there right now here in Terre Haute. 66 degrees, your dew points at 64. And again, every time that we see the dew point temperature very close to the actual air temperature, that's a good indicator. We have a lot of moisture out there. Humidity is at 93% and we don't have any winds to blow or to mix around some of the low lying clouds. So that's why we are seeing that fog out there this morning. Here's a look at that bigger picture while we have a few clouds around. That's going to be the main trend of today. We do look to stay mainly dry, just a partly to mostly cloudy skies. A future cast going to show us that no real weather systems impacting us today. Just a few clouds lingering as we are really setting in between two Two weather systems for our Monday. One's going to bring rain to our east. Showers developing across eastern Indiana into portions of Ohio, but I do believe we stay mainly dry for today. Here's the five o'clock hour again, just looking at a partly cloudy sky at that point. What you'll notice temperatures going to start to get a little warmer as we edge through our week. Yesterday we topped out near 80 degrees today, getting back into the lower 80s near 65 at 8 a.m. Going through your afternoon, rebounding to 76 around lunchtime, keeping partly cloudy skies around through five. Again, 83. That'll be your forecast high for today. Now, we can't rule out the chance of a very stray shower this afternoon with that next weather system being pretty close by, but I do believe that most of us stay completely dry. We'll call that chance of rain around 10% for today. Going through the overnight tonight, we're looking at a partly cloudy sky. It will start to stay warmer through the overnights as we continue to see that warming trend take control. Mid 60s for our Tuesday winds will be out of the south. Again, a partly cloudy sky. We could see some fog tomorrow morning. And then we're talking about our next chance to see the more widespread showers and storms moving in for your Tuesday afternoon. Here's noon. This is going to be a cold front that will pass by officially Tuesday evening, but it's going to bring a pretty decent chance to see some showers around for the afternoon. This temperatures really warm back up. We'll get back into the mid 80s for your Tuesday, and then that best chance of rain starts to exit through about six, seven o'clock in the evening. And then we're looking at those partly cloudy skies putting us into the first part of the day on Wednesday. Here's that big time warming trend. 90s and that extended forecast. This is the next six days. Your average is 88. We're going to get above that for the first time in about a month and a half by the end of the week as those temperatures get back into the lower 90s. We've only had four days so far this summer that we hit that 90 degree mark and that happened in the end of June. Prepare now. It's really going to get warmer. Dense fog out there this morning. A daytime high of 83, a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Rain chances Wednesday, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So for the General, most part of the week we are going to see those rain and storm changes continuing again just going to get a lot warmer back to 91 by Friday.